And just because I just came and dominated the whole space and made that whole bitch mine, then she gonna gravitate towards me. So here, here's the idea with buying drinks. What's up? It, so, so here's my concept behind it. In sales, in sales, we give things away. I'm with you. There's a reason why we give things away because what it does is you're building rapport. So when I buy you a drink, it, it's doing a, a couple of things. One, it's softening up the potential for us to have a conversation. Of course, as you get more drinks in you, you're going to talk more. And then this is just opening up. This is the introduction to us. That, that That's what I use drinks the for. The counterpoint well, to that to is use drinks for. every average broad is having men buy her drinks. And so when I don't buy you no drink, you're wondering why you ain't buying me no drink. It's reverse psychology. I'm fucking her head. With, I don't look at you. I don't buy you no drink. I don't give you no attention. I might go and laugh with the ugliest bitch at the bar <laughs> and have the ugliest bitch at the bar buy me a drink. And then you over there scratching your head like she just bought him a drink and he's not talking to me. What does she have that I don't have? I mean, I'm making these a, bitches feel insecure. That's a strategy. That's definitely a strategy. But but it's it's still going to work the same if I buy a drink and we get to talking. Other women are going to see this because women beget women. The, you most, know what the most powerful bond that you can ever have with a female person is when she instigates the, uh, the interaction. If she if she if she creates the connection, if she pursues you, you can never lose because a woman never wants to be wrong. And she chose you. That's true. That's definitely true. But we giving these simps this 80 percent that don't get no no nothing. We're just giving you the base, like the baseline of what you can do to initiate some kind of contact and move from there. Because, hey, everybody doesn't. Hey, look, <laughs> I didn't been I didn't been in the spot before. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and I've walked past a chick and she'll say something like, damn, I like your beard or, you know, she chose you or your lips. She chose you. what I'm saying is not every man is going to have an attribute or some attributes that makes a woman want to come talk to them. Some men got to lie on their, their conversation more. And I think that's what's wrong with like the manosphere and the red if pill. If you want to have a conversation with a woman. You go up to her and you find her idiosyncrasy immediately. Ask her, hey, did you always have that mole? Mm. Is, is that a freckle or a pimple? Mm. She's going to look at you like, what? <laughs> what? Mm. Yeah. Because everyone else is saying, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so fine. So you're saying it's the detail. Pay attention to the detail. Man, you got to make her know that her, that her shit stank immediately. Have you always had that gap? What? What? <laughs> what? Huh? If you're not the right type nigga, though, that's not going to work. You're going to get fought on. If you're not, if you're not delivering shit smooth enough, you're going to get fought on. You, and you got to be smooth, too, man. You got to know how to deliver things. You got to, like, when you talk about sales, you can't be afraid of rejection. You got to shoot. That's true. And every time you shoot, learn. If the tactic didn't work the first time, make sure it works on the 22nd time. But you got to shoot 22 times, though. That's true. And then, then after you shoot 22 times, all of a sudden, man, hey, you wasn't, what did Drake say? You wasn't with him shooting in the gym? <laughs> I think that's the issue, though, with... Kobe put up a, a thousand jumpers a day. This internet world that we live in is that it's going to it's, it's going to pollute how we date. It's going to pollute that, how men and women interact with each other, for sure. I mean, you won't get these real interactions like this. You'll have some fear and anxiety about people interacting with I'm about to give you a superpower. What's up? How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie. Oh, uh, I need to read that book myself. It's a, I've heard it's that a, book. It's a superpower. You know, the uh, the most the most special word in the whole language of any language is a person's name, huh? Get a person's name. This, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you game, okay? Like if you work in a place in, clo in close proximity with a woman, I'll tell you what you do. Just say hi to her. If she speaks back, don't say nothing else to her. Go on about your business. The next day, hey, what's up? And over time. The conversation progresses. Familiarity gives you access. Proximity gives you the ability to be familiar.